Put it on. It's on. <laughs> he found the best place to lay. Did he? Right he did. Here. Yeah. This is the best place. Right here's the best place. Mm -hmm. Do you love it here? <laughs> Levi's feeling and acting much better today. I would say probably what, like 40%? Improvement um, over yesterday? No, like 40% of his normal <laughs> activity level. Um, why are you licking my leg? <laughs> Hi. Silly shenanigans. Let's see if there's eggs over there. I saw them all over here yesterday. There's an egg. One egg. Is there an egg in there? Just, just one. Mm. Oh. <laughs> They're like, excuse they me. They don't like that. Oh, okay. We're leaving your we're leaving your nest alone. We're leaving your nest alone. I think somebody asked in a comment why we have why we have so many geese. Yeah. <laughs> and I answered because they're cute as babies. <laughs> <laughs> they are cute as babies, that's true. That that was the reason we got the additional six, is because we saw them and we were like, oh. <laughs> There's a little bit more to that yeah. in that we really did have the intentions of breaking them up and yeah. putting them into chicken runs. Yeah. And then we, again, we waited too long. Well, we had them separated and then we, it just got too busy and yeah. it, it was just easier to put them together. Yeah. And it just didn't, it just didn't work out the way that we had <sighs> envisioned. En envisioned. Let's see. Well, do we have the other girl? Uh, she's right there. Come on, Kinsley. Let's go. She'll, Kinsley. She'll come. doing silly um, but we also wanted a male so we could breed them because we are pre I'm pretty positive that the Emdens are all females mm. and so we'll what we'll likely do is get rid of at least two if not three of the white Chinese ones we I think one is maybe a female. We'll have to vent sex them to double check. And then we'll keep the nicest of the boys. And the reason I say we might keep, you know, only get rid of two of the boys is you can have, like we could breed just Chinese whites and then we could do Chinese white Emden pairs. Mm -hmm. Or so we could do both, mm -hmm. so but we do want to hatch out duck eggs and geese eggs this coming year. If we can find the duck eggs. <laughs> It'll be, <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping since they all stay around the pond yeah. that they'll use that as their area. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I guess got to find it in the pond. That's a pretty overgrown area. Yeah. I was, when we got, we had to go to the, um, go get feed today. And when we got back into, uh, back to the homestead, we heard the um, Chinese like geese by the pond make a huge, huge ruckus. Huge ruckus, more than normal. Huge, yeah. So I went over there and it turned out just a rooster had flown into their, <laughs> their area. They didn't they, like that. They did not like that. The rooster was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. You know, the space, got ample water. Yep. <laughs> um, and so I was over there. So I was just kind of just observing things. And I, I uh, only saw the male mallard, I couldn't find the female mallard. I couldn't find um, uh, quacker. I found Jack, I couldn't find quacker. And I searched and I searched and I searched, went down to the bank of the pond, and I was searching, I was looking. I saw the other runner ducks, or they're not runner ducks, they're- uh, They're khaki camels. Khaki camels. And then I turn around and literally sitting right next to Jack was Quacker. She's so camouflaged. It's just super camouflaged. Yeah, it's, I, it takes, like I have to do this and then you'll see just a little tiny movement of the head yeah. and it's like, oh, there she is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like, okay, well, if I can't find her, finding her her eggs might be a very difficult. Yeah, at least their eggs are blue, so. 
Yeah. It'll maybe make it a little easier to yeah. see him. <laughs> you keeping up there, buddy? Good he's, job. He's doing his best. Yeah, he's doing his best. Today was a pretty... Uh, yeah, it, was a, it was a slow day. It was a slow day. Did the walk with the, with the doggies this morning. And it was just a walk. Even Levi wasn't running around. Um, and then we had a, a pest control come out because around the, the eve of the house, all over the place, we just have tons of wasps. Tons of them. Yeah, and they're it's just gotten swarming so bad. everywhere. And so it was just too much for me to control. Um, so I had a, a, a bug bug control come out and do some spraying, which we're not huge fans of, mm -hmm. but, but when, we can't when you, have wasps when you living can't, in the house. <laughs> yeah, when you can't walk into your own house without being fear of being stung, that's just bad. Yeah. So we did that and then we went into town to get some feed and then we also decided to go to a salvage place to see if we could find some tongue and groove boards and some for doors. the ceiling but they didn't have any yeah they were they didn't have any which was unfortunate yeah so we did find a couple uh interior and exterior doors that might work for some of the changes we mm -hmm. want to make yeah uh, yeah so that was kind of the extent of the day we haven't even mm -hmm. unloaded the feed yet yeah we're gonna I think I'll try it tomorrow when I put some oil in the... Oh, we got oil the, for the tractor. ...in the John Deere, um, and then see if it can lift the thousand pounds mm -hmm. that we usually have. Usually we get about 20 bags of, of feed at 50 pounds a piece. That's a thousand pounds. So we'll see if the John Deere can handle that or not. I don't know what we're doing. I just, just, just kind of walking. Yeah. I was just following Levi. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice out. It's not it's very hot nice. out. Yeah. So if they want to walk and go down to the creek, that's fine. Get some exercise before calling it the night. Yeah, before it gets too dark and we can't go back here. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Winnie. You're such a good boy. Oh, Levi's trotting off. Doing a little trot. A little trot. But his tail's up. Yeah. So. That's good. It's not down like it was the other day. I'm glad he's mobile, but I'm also glad he's not running around yeah. and overdoing it. Oh, I also did a little bit of, just a little bit of cleanup today. Um, oh have, yeah, you did. We have a rug right outside the RV steps and the geese tend to lay there at night. Yeah. And where geese are, geese poop is. And so that required some major cleaning. So I cleaned that. And then I was like, I'm cleaning, I might as well just keep going. So I started <laughs> spraying down all the rocks, the driveway, um, the, the river rock in front of the house, getting all of the dirty spots on the rocks washed away. And then I took the leaf blower and I blew all of the sticks and all the leaves um, <laughs> off of all the gravel, including the entire driveway, length of the driveway. <laughs> so I was in a mood. So I just want to clean. I can't. <laughs> yeah. You're I can't. like, I don't want to do insulation. Oh, I'm going to clean. I didn't want to start insulation work because the pest people were going to be there at 1230. Yeah. I didn't know how long they were going to be. And I couldn't, I didn't feel safe going in and out of the house yeah, because, because of, the of those wasps. darn wasps. Because yeah. yesterday it was kind of the climax of it where the wasps were getting into the south sun porch, the main <laughs> entry to our house. And as you guys know, that, that the sun porch, it's not drywall on the ceiling, it's foam, and there's some holes in the foam. Well, their nest is up there, and they kept coming out of the foam hole and then going into that sun, sun room, sun porch, and into the house. And so I kept having to vacuum them up or like spray them with soapy water. Mm -hmm. And like, this is, this is crazy. So, all right called the pest control and I said, oh, I'll be out tomorrow. Like, yes, Sweet. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that done. And it was like 55 bucks for them to come out and spray everything in three to four months of... Hopeful coverage. Hopeful coverage, yeah. <laughs> Plus, you know, winter's coming, so. Yeah. Yeah, so that was it. A little bit of cleanup, a little bit of pest control, some driving around, walking buying doggies. feed, walking dogs. Feeding chickens. That's it. You're caught up. <laughs> Did 
just a pretty average day. Yep. Let's see. Are we... I don't know what I'm asking. And we've been mentioning the ticks have been really bad. The ticks have been horrible. And it's really pretty. Yeah. It's not very bright, vibrant co colors, but it's really cool. Well, this, some of them are. Yeah, I mean, there, there's the cool changing colors, but I think a couple years ago it was way more vibrant. Yeah. It was a pretty dry season. So anyway, you were saying? Yeah, so the ticks. So tonight we'll give them their monthly dose of flea and tick prevention, heartworm, all the stuff that we've, we always keep up on their meds, as I'm sure y'all probably realize already. We uh, definitely treat the dogs like kids and make sure that they're <laughs> healthy and <laughs> make sure they're got everything that they need. So we just continue to brush off all of the little ticks and anything that we can find. But the, most of the ones we've been pulling off them have already been dead. Yeah. Because they're not overdue for anything. And like Nate mentioned the other day, he sprayed Wonderside on Levi because he had so many, because he was not feeling well and laying in the tall grass. So. What do you find, Kinsley? Probably a, uh, a it's stick. stick. <laughs> probably course. a stick. I was going to say a stick or a walnut, but down here, probably a stick. Hi, bud. That's all you wanted? You just wanted a drink of water? You just wanted a drink. Oh, somebody said your favorite tree looked like it had a heart carved in it at one point. Oh, really? Yeah, it was one of the comments. I wonder. I wonder if it does. Where that is, that'd be cool. Mm. Oh, I think it's where the bark's missing. Maybe up above where your head would be. It oh. does look like a heart. Yeah, it does kind of look like a heart. I can tell you what that is. Um, oh, the ivy? Yeah, I came in, I had some clippers and I came in and I cut these, this, you can see the, the ivy right here. I cut it out and I pulled it off and so some of the bark ripped off in the areas I was pulling it off. So, but yeah, that does look like a heart, doesn't it? Yeah. That's cool. And then I also went over here where all of the, um, the grape vines, they go up and they, you know, go to the top of the tree. So I killed all those grape vines too to prevent them from snuffing out this tree. Cause that'd be sad. Yeah, that would be sad. Yeah, it's a, such a beautiful tree. It really is just a beautiful tree. It's and huge. it looks strong and healthy. Uh-huh, yep. Unlike so many of others of ours. Yep. Did you get your drink? Huh? Did you get your drink? You feeling good now? <laughs> Hi, buddy. You coming? Hi, Richard. I don't have any particular plans for tomorrow. Probably working on some insulation. I'd like to kind of get that wrapped up. And I need to fix the propane um, on the RV. Our regulator on the RV is bad. And so we have to restart our propane <laughs> Like the propane heater. Constantly. Constantly, because it just, the flame keeps dying out. The hot water. The hot water heater, yeah. Yep. So, might do a little bit of that. I ordered a new propane regulator on Amazon, and it's somewhere in the carport. I just can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> don't remember where you put it when you I were don't. clearing stuff up. Yep. Uh, started researching and looking at what trees we're going to add to the food forest this winter, planning out so we can start planning out the design and the layout and how we want to do it, spacing, all of that. So that should be good. And I think we'll start planning in December for the first set of trees. So that means we have November to, field, to prep the field? Yep. November to get the field all prepped and to make our design layout. And then we'll probably get a second set of trees in March. 
because most of the ones that I really, really want aren't available until March. Mm. So. Ow. I went to the back side of the of this barn mm -hmm. and I found another one of these. Oh cool. So I don't know if this one had two on it, because there's the one is still up there. The one that was in the center. Mm -hmm. It's still up there with the yep. with the ball. This one doesn't have a ball. Bless you. Yep. All right, any last words? Uh, mm -hmm. Not really. I was just trying to think of weekend plans. You kind of went over yours. And then the uh, probably, well, now that we have tractor oil, I want to till up that garden area. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. And get the, uh, and get that layout established. Mm -hmm and planned out so that I can keep moving forward with that. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to try to focus on that this weekend and then that's it. That'll that'll be a couple day project still I think. Yeah. Because building all those garden beds takes forever. See did Levi go through? He did not. He went up here. Yeah. Right when we passed the barn, he went up through. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it open again. All right, well, we'll then see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Yep, have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.